Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey's Adventures. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good here. So we're gonna be doing, we're at the Urari National Forest doing our, uh, what is it, nine day, eight night trip out here. I got the hot tent all set up where I'm gonna be sleeping at for the next nine days, eight nights or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm gonna go over there and sit down by the campfire, enjoy a Mountain Dew, chit chat with Keith, one of our subscribers is camping out here with me for the night. I'll introduce y'all to him later at the fire talk. Um, but I'm going to go drink me a do, relax for a little bit, and then I'll bring you guys back here shortly. But we got camp all set up, so we're good to go for the night. Only thing I got left to do is go chop some wood for my hot stove. And then that's it. So it's just relaxation the rest of the week. So I'm going to go chill by the fire, drink a do, my Mountain Dew, and socialize for a little bit. And then um, we'll bring you all back a little bit later today. Oh, it's your boy. Peace. What's up everybody? So I'm in the hot tent for the night. Today's first day was just chilling out with uh, Keith and his son by the fire. I didn't film too much today because I didn't want to um, have the camera up in there. It's got um, guys' face, but it was pretty cool hanging out with Keith and meeting one of my subscribers. They're in their tent for the night. I'm in my hot tent for the night. I got the hot stove going. Um, we got a rainstorm. It should be hitting us around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And all day Sunday is supposed to be a rain event. So it don't look like we're going to be doing a whole lot of exploring or anything tomorrow. We may be chilling out underneath the uh, rain fly most of the day in the hot tent here. I will show you guys in the morning before it got dark. I set up my rain fly where it's covering up half the hot tent. So if I leave the door open to the hot tent. It stays dry, and I've got a good covered area outside, outside the tent. So if it is a rainstorm all day tomorrow, I'm not stuck inside this tiny hot tent. I've got room to move around, go out there, cook, do our, I can cook on the hot stove for that matter. But either way, I'm in the hot tent for the night, and I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. It's about 11.45 a.m. or p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to go ahead and go to bed, and I'll check with you all tomorrow morning. Peace. Good morning, everybody. Day number two. It is raining. Check out how I got my canopy. Well, I can open up my uh, hot tent and have a nice big porch because it's supposed to do this literally all day today. So I got two rain days on this uh big trip I'm on. We got today, which is Sunday, and then we got Wednesday. Fortunately for Keith over there in his tent, he's leaving today, so he's going to break out in the rain. Feel kind of bad for him. I hate breakdown on rain days. This is the weather, folks. It's 7.31 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Only reason I crawl out of bed is I have to pee. I'm sleeping good in there like a baby.
When you want, if you want to do a canoe trip once it starts warming up or something, let me know. I am 100% hey, down, down for that. I'm down for too, man. Yeah. I'll get there it. with you anytime you guys want to camp out here so I can get up here. I mean, we seem to get along together, so. Yeah. You got Where's a new camping way? partner right here. <laughs> cool. Eddie, you going to stay? <laughs> Woo! Uh, well, we well, about two and a half hours. Hey. 20, 30 minutes just to get out of here. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Alright, dude. Have fun, man. Yep. See you next time, brother. You know it. I'm good in this pool right here. <laughs> Well, folks, I'm all alone now. Keith just left. I lost sight of him on the trail. The rest of the trip until Saturday, when Mama Bear picks me up, I'm alone. Keith said he may or may not pop back in on me, and sometimes through the middle of the week, so if he does, I'll have company. But other than that, it's just me, the critters in the woods and the forest the rest of the weekend. Brought the hot stove out here. That way I don't have to sit in there. I can sit underneath this rain fly while it's raining. It'll still kick off the heat. Took the uh, chimney flues off of it and got it propped them up over here. But stay warm by the fire this way. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I don't want to sit out under the rain. I don't want to prop this up and build an actual open fire underneath my good rain fly here. Because I don't want to take chances I catch holes. So this is perfect. It's doing the job. You know, it, boil my water for my coffee all day i'll be able to cook my um dinner and lunch on it when it's time to eat so good little setup right here ain't gonna be a whole lot today to do today folks because it's supposed to rain all day so pretty much my plans today is just take away i guess what you call it a zero day or something like that and not do nothing but lay right here and relax all day just enjoy the peace and quiet mother nature and, and, and coffee all day Next two days is supposed to be pretty and sunny, and then I'll have another rain day on Wednesday. So I have two rain days on this trip. So two days I'll have to sit underneath this rain fly and just relax, which ain't a big deal. The rest of the days when it's pretty, I'm going to be exploring this forest because I've never been in this part of the forest. Keith, brother, when you see this video, it was so good to meet you. It was real awesome to meet you. It's, I mean, I'm, all, I'm always pleased to meet viewers and subscribers. But for my first camp out with a viewer and subscriber, it was a 100% successful trip. Keith and I's personalities got along just great. He seems to be a lot like I am or I'm a lot like him. Either way, we got along just perfectly fine, so it was awesome. The, the little bit of worries I had about meeting somebody new, you know, face-to-face -face for the first time, let alone camping with them, all those worries were gone within 10 minutes of meeting Kate, Keith. Hell, they were gone before my wife drew off just because how friendly he was and he was greeting us and had a little electric cart to help me get my gear back here in the woods because it's a little bit of a height from where the cars would park or where the road is up there, you know, to get back here. So he helped me get my gear back here. It was, it was good. Real good camp out with him. Keith, I'll camp with you anytime, brother. Like I told you before you left, man, you want to do a canoe trip sometime in the future, you let me know. My canoe's big enough to fit me and you and all of our gear. Let me know, brother. I am down for doing that trip. We got a new camp partner right here. Kind of cool having a viewer, subscriber that that's relatively close to me where I can meet up from time to time and go camping with. So, brother, hit me up. Appreciate it. Everybody else, I kind of kept Keith out of the video for most of the time we're here. I didn't record too much yesterday. 
Um, I did the setup or whatever. Obviously, I said my good nights last night, but I just kind of kept the camera down for my first night so I could, you know, first time meeting somebody new, I didn't want to have a camera up in his face the whole time or his boy's face the whole time. I just want to be able to relax, get to know the guy, and I promise you all, everybody else, the next time uh, Keith and I are together, together camping, then it's full on force. He's going to see what it's like to record a YouTube video. He's going to see me stopping everything I'm doing, moving the camera from one place to another and all that stuff. So Keith, you'll get more of experience of that next time. I just don't want to overburden you with a camera in your face the whole time. That way you and I could, you know, get to know each other, right? Without worrying about this. But folks, I'm just going to sit here and relax. If something cool happens, I'll bring you all back.
ones though, Bobby. All right, while well, coffee's going, or the water's going for the coffee, let's give a quick tour of my camp because I did change it up a little bit. Same location, I haven't changed locations yet. So I created a barrier here, so you have to walk around to the front of the tent. And it kind of hides it in a little bit, a little bit, don't get me wrong. And I changed my setup because of the cross breeze I was getting was making the smoke hit my face when my stove was originally there. So I took rocks out of here I did not touch the fire pit there because I know Keith uses this camp spot a lot, so I don't want to mess up what he's got going on. So I took rocks out of here and created a horseshoe and a platform in there. So your A, you can do a long fire in there if you're not here and I am, like Keith, for instance, for tarp camping. But for me, what I'm doing is I got my hot stove sitting in there, which kind of elevates it. Right now I'm drying gloves and drying wood because all the wood's wet, I've been cutting. So I got dry pieces before I burn it. I got my coffee going. There's Bobby. So this, that's the sup's change. Cooler's still there, trash bag inside is inside. Pretty cool though, huh? It's probably one of the coolest little setups I've done so far. Got plenty of room in there, dry ground to chill out of the weather pretty awesome it's been relaxing after my little walk down halfway towards the lake down there or the reservoir whatever you want to call it so I'm just gonna sit here wait for this water to boil and then I'm gonna have me a nice hot cup of coffee it's about 3 30 in the afternoon it's about coffee time all right folks
I think I'm just going to cook them. Right on top of the daggone stove, why not? Ooh, that's hot. Got too much stuff up on this table. It's hot dog eating time. I'm hungry. Mm. So it's been a pretty relaxing day. I did manage to get a little hike halfway down to the reservoir, which was which was kind of cool. Rearrange camp a little bit, set it up for this last storm a little bit better. I'm good to go. I got plenty of wood for tonight. Good chance I'm going to relocate to another part over here for tomorrow. It's got a lot more wood. And it's a pretty cool spot. I found I found it um, yesterday when I was hiking with Keith. Keith found it and showed it to me, so I'm going to go up there and camp up there probably for two nights. Maybe three, because if we get rain Wednesday, I might be there for three days. Who knows? But I'm going to sit here and eat my dinner, folks. Um, we're probably going to end this episode here. And then next week, we'll pick up with the continuation. So on my patrons, um, patrons, Matthew B., Stephen R., Mark K., greatly appreciate you, um, folks time of the filming this video we're over 500 subscribers so thank you very very much um for joining the channel hope to have you all for a while spread the word keith it was awesome to meet you brother i hope i get to camp with you again in the future um it's a pretty cool experience to, uh, my first time camping with a uh a viewer slash subscriber subscriber of the channel so that was pretty cool um if anybody wants to uh, buy me a mountain dew or buy me a camp dinner. My uh, important links are down in the description, which is my PayPal and my um, Cash App. If you want to be a Patreon supporter with a monthly con um, contribution, like Mark K, Stephen R, and Matthew B has does every month, 
The Patreon link's also down in the description. Y'all, you already know how we do it. Holla at your boy. I'll see you my time tomorrow, but y'all time, I'll see you next week. Holla at your boy. Peace.